Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your words and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. There are issues that has been there from childhood up to today. These issues has been there disturbing our family. Simply means Satana and these people vow that you will never make it in life. You will never make it in life. Good health is not your portion. Success is not your portion. Marriage is not your portion. Promotion is not your portion. And everyone Friends, relatives, they are just looking at you. They have no power to take you out of that bondage. Even you yourself, you have no power to do that. If you go by the history, you go and ask our mom, our daddy, grandfather, uncles, they will tell you that even your uncle, your grandfather, went through the same process. Life now is like, it's meaningless. Whether educated or non-educated, there's nothing that can inspire you. Why? Satan vowed that you will never make it in life through family foundations, family problems. And when we talk about this issue of family problems, people, you know, take it so lightly. All these problems that we are facing now, the source is the foundation. Where we are coming from, what happened when you were very young? Satan cannot trace you without, you know, the roots. He will use where you are coming from to conquer you. What was happening before? between your dad and his brother, your dad and the, the aunties, grandfather and your dad. These are the things that are fighting us today. You can, you know, hurt one or two things, but the source is what matters. Are you there, people of God? The source is what matters. When we talk about family foundation, you take it very lightly that I'm in town. Yes, you are in town, but your destiny is in the village. Hmm? Your name is in the village, your body is here. Only spiritual people who can understand this language. Religious people cannot understand this one. They will just say, look at this one. These are the people who are deceiving people. We are not deceiving anyone. If we are to be lined up and start receiving prophets one by one, you discover that most of the problems that you are facing is from where we are coming from. Whether Mariamba, the source is what has caused you to start misbehaving. Praise the Lord. And no one, not even you know, a powerful man here on earth who can take you out of that bondage it is only jesus when you meet jesus that's the end of your problem you keep on complaining just a simple mistake you participated years back satan is using that one let me take you to the book of john we look at this man we all know this story about the man was sick for 38 years in John 5 verse 1 
Maybe because of time, we start from verse 3, so that we just go directly to the point. John 5, are you there? Mm -hmm. This is NIV. <clears throat> Here are a great number of disabled. I mean, disabled people used to lie, the blind, the lame, the paralyzed. Let me just uh, start the two so that uh, at least we, we, we get the whole picture. Now, there is in Jerusalem near the sheep gate a pool, which is in Arabic is called Bethsaida, and which is surrounded by five covered colonel nodes. Three, here a great number of disabled people used to lie, the blind, the lame, the paralyzed. One who was there had been an invalid for 38 years. That is, he was sick. The word invalid, you replace it with sick. This man was sick for 38 years. Six, when Jesus saw him lying there, and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time. He asked him, do you want to get well? Does it mean Jesus doesn't know that this man was in need of healing? He knew. Do you want to get what? This is the, a helpless answer from the man. Sir, the invalid man replied, I have no one to help me into the pool. When the water is steered, while I'm trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. This is the answer from the man. When Jesus asked him, do you want to get well? He said, sir, I have no one to help me. Each time I'm trying to, you know, organize myself so I can go to the pool, someone else will jump in ahead of me. Verse 8. Then Jesus said to him, get up, pick up your mat and walk. Get up, pick up your mat and walk. Let's go to verse 11. But the reason why I'm taking you to verse 11 is that... The day which was, I mean, the day this man was, you know, released from that bondage was a Sabbath day. Now, according to the Jewish law by then, even healing cannot be conducted on the Sabbath day. Not until when the Sabbath is over, that's when you can pray for someone. But Jesus did it on the Sabbath day. He told the man to say, pick up your mat and walk. Verse 11, he replied, the man made me well, he said. The man made me well, said to me, pick up your mat and walk. Because they started questioning him. What happened? Today is not the day to be healed or whatever. Who has done this to you? He said, the man told me to pick up my mat and walk. What am I trying to bring to your attention? It is not everyone who can support you to do the right thing. Even if it is good, I mean, what you are doing is good. There must be one or two people who start questioning you. What are you trying to achieve? Why have you done this? Do you belong to that place? You belong to, to this place. Why are you want to go there? And who, who told you that you, you are this or that? It doesn't mean that they are representing the will of God in your life. No. They are there to discourage so that you continue living where in bondage. Now, let me now come back to uh, this man. I want to replace this man with your situation. There are so many problems that we are facing in our families. That has been there. Poverty is like, it's like you are now hopeless. Maryamba finokula tondonga ya timwa chubu wafia buka chitashani. Tabu wakapwe. Inchito. Maryamba finokutondonga ya tine ni fine. I want you to know this. The mistake which was made years back can be collected today by Jesus. No matter how hard it is. 
When Jesus is involved, it doesn't matter who is against you. It doesn't matter who is supporting or not supporting you. Jesus is the hope of what? Life. Others will be busy condemning you to say, Ah, taparifika chitika, taparifika chinja, chari puafe ni filia fine, nangu, ngawale fuaya, e what and what, kanufenga isha chitile nchi No, they are not your God. It is only Jesus who can say yes or no. Avobambia vengalanda, no. That is their business. That is what? Don't forget that what you want is what they want. Your enemy. What you are looking for is what they are looking for. What can make you happy is what they are looking for. So if you put your trust in them, thinking human beings can bring solution to my problems, you are making a very big mistake. It is only Jesus. When Jesus is involved, the end has come to your problem. The end has what? Our brother in question was sick for so many what? Yes. You have been in that situation for so many years. You have tried what you know you can. You have done all the best to make sure that you change everything. But up to now, you are still facing the same problem. What we are missing is the presence of Jesus. Jesus never caught anyone or sent anyone or claimed anyone to be his child without giving that person what? Power. When Jesus is saying you are my daughter or my son, he will give you power to defeat the opposite word. Power. The man was sick for 38 years. Within a minute, this man was able to stand and walk on his own. If you read the Bible, the Bible says that this place were crowded with a great number of people. Disabled, blind, all kinds of problems. They were just lying there, like this man said, hey, are you telling me that no one could think about his situation? It is only Jesus who can remove you from that bondage and give you the desire of your heart. People are there to laugh, to mock, to talk about your situation. In fact, people enjoy talking about our problems, if you don't know. They enjoy that one. Talking about your problem. Na mufuako. Na mufuako. Na Even na talk time kutiba kongola. To share your problem. Not solving your problem. To share your problem with your enemy. Have you heard? Heard about what? Mulenga. Ah, ah, tell me. If it is good that Mulenga is doing, no one will say, have you heard? They will just, you know, sit down and zip their mouth. But bad things. So that problem that has been there in our families, it is only Jesus you need to engage. Remember the, the leaders, the elders started questioning this man. Today is Sabbath. Who has done this to you? He said, the man told me, the man made me well, and he said, get up and do it. Walk. If you read John, John 9, verse 16, you find the same story about the person who was born what? Blind. They were also questioning him. Who has done this to you? He said, there is a man. It doesn't matter who is against you. When Jesus is involved, people of God, fear no one. You can doubt yourself. You can doubt your capacity. You can doubt your family. You can doubt your wife or your husband. But when we see Jesus appeared to you, this man doesn't know how to fail. This man is a man of action. The only thing you need to do is to give him your heart. Don't go to Jesus with your know, double mind. Or with a hidden agenda. When you go to Jesus, go to him with a open what? Heart. Where people are mocking you. 
Jesus will come and put a smile. Hmm? Unstoppable what? You will be smiling. People will be mocking you. Ah, don't mind them. Jesus has taken over your battle. Hmm? He asked the man, do you want to get well? You need to be willing. Jesus knew that this man is in need of what? Killing. But he had to engage him. For him to understand what it means to be what? Healed. If you just say, okay, oh, go there. He will go and, you know, misbehave and come back to the same what? Situation. Jesus had to engage him. Do you want to get well? He said, sir, I have no one. Indeed, there is no one who can remove you from that kaloba. In Kongole. Hmm? There is no one. Street, next month Nija Street. Hmm? Eh, eh. You are in bondage. You are not a customer. That is bondage. You are a slave. Hmm? You are what? A slave. It is only Jesus who can, you know, make you to live that life of what? Borrowing. The first thing you need to do when you get paid or maybe you, you receive something is to go to the house of Kalova. You pay Kalova. After paying Kalova, that's when you think about food and other things. Can you think about the house of God? No. This is why Jesus has to come in and rescue you from that bondage so that you live a joy and peaceful what? life. Those who are saying it is not possible, with Jesus it is what? Possible. I'm telling you. I want to ask a few questions. I want to ask a few questions. If you have a problem, ah, you become the topic. They will keep on discussing and discussing until they get tired. But Jesus in Gaisa, he has a problem. He has a problem. No clear tension in Sansa. So, whatever problem that has been there, remember this man. He had no one. You can't find, I mean, you cannot even find the relatives around this man. He was just alone. But the relatives, I'm sure, were there. No one understand your pain apart from Jesus. Tell your neighbor, say, no one understand your pain apart from Jesus. Tell your neighbor once again. Apart from who? Mm -hmm. It is only Jesus who knows what you are going through every night. When others are sleeping, you are crying. Others are eating with that lion appetite. You know lion appetite. That's why you see they wrote there at Angry Lion. Because the way we eat when we go to Angry Lion, we eat like a lion. But for you, you can't even finish one lamp. Because something is, you know, punking on you, disturbing you, reminding you about the situation every day. Jesus appeared to this man and the hand, you know, came. Same, same to you. I want to encourage you. The power of God is real. Jesus is more real than our problem. More powerful than our situation. Trust him and believe in him. He is the only one who can remove you from that bondage. He is the only one who can disconnect you from that foundation they are using to locate you. So let this word be in your heart. Thank you.